Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Despite Fortnite Season 3 starting a few days ago, Epic Games aren't slowing down in terms of the new season content that they're still adding, rolling out or even announcing. Considering the summer vibe or Fortnite vibing theme we've got as we approach the summer event now, we not only have the details regarding that and what the event is going to be or even some of the free rewards contained within it, but also on top of that, new vehicles that are going to be added, what's going to be happening throughout the progression of this season in terms of the storyline and who this character is at the end of the Season 3 trailer fully revealed, even more details on the return of Clombos despite this skeleton being on the outskirts of now the rave cave which once was command cavern and to top it all off even more free rewards and collaborations that you guys definitely won't want to miss out on so it goes without saying do yourself a favor sit back relax grab your favorite snacks stick around and watch the full video and speaking of favors one you can do me considering it literally takes two seconds and is 100 free to do is enter code fm1 inside the fortnite item shop right now you guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face but cheers up my pug gus too who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70 percent of all eyes watching right now are and not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers and after all it only benefits you as I do get different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said, now enough messing around, Season 3's got some crazy things coming and we need to cover it all so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Not, I'm on my okay, so to start out with what's literally just been announced right now that you've seen the trailer for in the background, Fortnite X Among Us is finally happening. Here's what the reward screen looks like for getting these, as you can literally do it right now, and you may be entitled to them for free, so make sure you're paying attention. However, first of all, I figured I'd show you guys all the selectable styles in terms of the colours for the crewmate back bling, and then this distraction dance also, what it'll look like, which was how Fortnite X Among Us was leaked recently anyways, or confirmed to be coming after Epic Games, literally having it in the works for so long now. As for how you can get these cosmetics for free, Fire Monkey stated for those who have Among Us on their Epic Games store, apparently if you reinstall the game it will ask you to link with Epic Games. Once you do, you should get the Bat Bling and the Emote. If you've already done that and logged onto Fortnite and still don't have them as free rewards that have been granted onto your account, it may be because you've got Among Us when it was actually free. To explain this, Fire Monkey followed up with this tweet, alright, final tweet about this hopefully, you still need to purchase a Star Pack if you got the game for free on the Epic Games store, with of course proof of Attached of Among Us officially replying to a fan asking about this over on Twitter and speaking of these star packs as you can see all the V-Bucks in reward screen form right now this is not fake it was only a V-Bucks exploit in the game for around 10 minutes as Hypex explains very easily in this tweet if you bought an Among Us star pack and you already own the Among Us cosmetics Epic Games gives you 600 V-Bucks for that purchase just got like 70k V-Bucks for $60 because in my region it costs $0.49 but it's patched now you can only buy it once obviously he bought it multiple times up to the amount of 70,000 V-Bucks. This is why you need to get in on the action on Twitter, man. Make sure to follow me over there at Friendly Machine, but the L is an I linked in the video description down below. After all, this correlates to the next free reward that's been floating around the internet that I'm sure you guys have all heard of or even just seen in this video now or others in reward screen form being Spider-Man Zero. Just in case you don't know about the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics, this is the first issue free reward attached in code form to each one for the bat bling and also the skin. And despite there being no method now to get multiple or loads of these such as what there was with Rebirth Harley Quinn, I'm giving away tons over on my Twitter like in this tweet. Despite this being a free reward for the first issue of course there's going to be 5 total issues with the dates they release on screen right now with the free rewards attached to each one. In issue 2 we get the Iron Man based wrap, in issue 3 we get Wolverine based pickaxe, in issue 4 we get a spray and then issue 5 a loading screen but for redeeming all of those we'll actually get an additional outfit which I'm guessing is going to be very similar to DC's collaboration of this where we got free rewards for the comic books but then the armoured Batman Zero skin for redeeming them all. Speaking of free rewards but even better, one of your very own dances that could be put into Fortnite is through the Emote Royale contest for 2022. Epic Games released this short trailer that you've just seen or perhaps played again and until June 15th you can upload your dance moves on social media for a chance to win $2,500 and get your own emote in Fortnite. If you perhaps happen to win this contest and get your dancing game and Epic Games contacts you, how we're going to be able to redeem it I'm guessing it's going to be replacing 
Boogie Down, as this currently is the two-factor authentication reward that we get for enabling 2FA, so make sure to redeem this now in case the new emote or winner of this that puts their dance in Fortnite basically makes it unavailable then. And as we're on the subject of urgency for claiming free rewards, make sure to get this PlayStation Celebration Pack now, or it may have already rotated out and replaced it with the new one when you're logging onto Fortnite or watching this video. Sadly, when a new PlayStation Celebration Pack releases, of course it makes the prior one again unavailable, but this time, as it's not guaranteed every time we get a free skin, we're getting the Blizzard Bomber skin, which you're seeing in reward screen form right now, what it'll look like on your Fortnite account. This has been in the game's files for quite some time and only requires you to have an active PlayStation Plus membership or use a friend's console who's activated it as their primary console and has an active PlayStation Plus membership when you sign in through your Epic Games account. And whilst we only get one of these each season, meaning you've got plenty of time to get them, an upcoming event, obviously for summer, commemorated in Fortnite, like the last one we saw being Cosmic Summer that we saw in Chapter 2 Season 7, I believe, will be coming around this year. As Sheena states, if there is a summer event this season, it will likely start on June 21st or 28th, judging from the start date of summer events in recent years. 14 days of summer, 24th of June 2019, Summer Splash 2020, 30th of June 2020, Cosmic Summer 22nd of June 2021. And of course, for those that don't know, in each of these events we get a ton of free rewards, one of which Fire Monkey actually revealed right now that is currently in the files, being this peace sign spray which has ties or tags related to a summer quest. In some more normal news that everybody will be happy about, however, considering it seemed kind of hard to level up this season, even though I bought all 100 levels to start out with, so I'm not complaining too much. With the community in uproar over the time it takes to level up, Epic Games have obviously fixed this, allowing us to get double XP in most aspects of Fortnite, whether it's getting eliminations and everything else stated on screen from the tweet they put out there on screen right now. And speaking of XP and a free reward at the same time, a cosmetic that being, not just the XP itself, is if you attend this brand new Soundwave series concert, you'll not only get this spray, but also 40,000 XP. The amount of things happening in Fortnite right now makes it seem like complete chaos, but to add to that chaotic mixture even furthermore, Hypex stated about first person being used in Fortnite or actually kind of tested. Apparently they've been working on some first person cameras epic games, and he states that this would work really well in Zero Build, and here is some gameplay of what that could look like, thanks to Orange Guy who posted this to YouTube a while ago, hence why it's on the Chapter 1 island, but you guys get the gist or example of how weapons will look in our hands closer up rather than third person, which Fortnite has always been. I'm guessing this would definitely take some getting used to, the new dynamic of Fortnite, because even riding wildlife, to be honest, has took some getting used to for me, with all of the brand new movement physics and the fact we can crank 90s whilst doing so. And conveniently speaking of these new mechanics for riding wildlife, I think they were added initially because it looks like, as Hypex stated here, Epic began working on motorcycles recently which use the same animations as riding animals. It has two seats plus you can boost and drift. And also, Epic Games added some summer surfboards back, but we don't know if it's for BR or creative, which it could be for BR considering we have this feature teased in the trailer that nobody's paying attention to, having a character literally strapped to the back of a boat. I don't think I'm mentally prepared for how crazy Fortnite actually is getting with not only riding animals, but now on the back of boats, and potentially even baby clombos if they are added into the game, because when clombos do return based off the leaks we're going to be mentioning, of course these creatures are rather big as we can tell from the skull even. If it wasn't already a hint enough in itself, with Clombris still on the Fortnite island, that they may be returning in the near future, we actually had a dance updated for them when they do return in Season 2 toward its end, but obviously we haven't seen them since, and even since Season 3 release, they've added new code into the game, which PQ describes upon approaching in whatever mood he's in, docile and aggressive music, and also a new colour variant. And whilst many people think this reality tree is literally powering the island full of goodness, the scientist seems to think different as it seems too quiet and too peaceful. Despite the fact data miners have managed to find out its purpose as it literally has roots over the entire island, this giant tree that we can't destroy. Considering it's spread into all the name locations on screen right now, this doesn't mean it's going to be a force for good as at the end of the trailer, as also mentioned in the start of the video, this character can be seen either looking into a crystal ball or the zero point at the reality tree itself as if it wants to harness its energy or is using it. And from taking a closer look at this character, it kind of reminds me of the zero bloom, you know, that we saw for the first time in the chapter 2 season 6 zero crisis finale that we played upon the startup of season 6 for the first time. So could that mean, considering we've already seen the cube queen as an enemy to the Fortnite reality that we were once in before the island flipped over from chapter 2, that this character may be a queen in itself and be called the bloom queen, I'm calling it now, considering the resemblances to the zero bloom, and here is a full image early off the surveys that Epic Games have been releasing of what this skin will look like. I honestly highly doubt we'll be seeing her make an appearance this season, as I don't believe also we'll be seeing a live event due to the fact last chapter in chapter 2 season 3 we didn't and we've just
just had one of the biggest, if not the best, live events in terms of involvement and cinematic we've seen in Fortnite history. Get revealed to that intel when or if it comes by subscribing to the channel right now with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future videos. And speaking of this video, leave a like in it down below if you enjoyed and want to keep referring back to it. Speaking of your next destination now, however, make sure you interact with anything on screen. I don't mind, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in the very next video I post on the channel.